Hello again. Welcome back to a wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. But I'm still Shala. And I'm Pixel. Hey, you ready for Ada's terrible voice acting? Hey, got a smoke? I do, the kind you like. Now where's the amber? Fortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Up my ass. Is why I'm still alive. The deal was, we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. <laughs> Such a stickler for details, Hyda. Okay then. I'll go get it now, how about that? How did she pull a, a guy up in like that in the rain in heels? And she's probably pushing this is pushing himself up. I've got some bad news, Tundra One. With the weather like this, the chopper can't make its approach. Can you stand by until it clears? Negative. Too dangerous. We're gonna get out of here and find someplace safe. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor one, out. Let's go. Oh, between two and three, he did get a certification in rescue swimming. Right now. Didn't he? Let's just focus on getting out of here. I guess. Yeah. Right. Well, wait, two and three? Is it in three? Yeah, he is doing that certification. Apparently. So when you say between two and four, it's three. It essentially takes uh, place during two and three basically take place during the same time period. And at three, I think he was getting employed by the president, which is why Condor won. Come take a look. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. Huh. All my wares are in tip-top shape, I assure you. Where would it pleasant travels? Hmm. How can you go? Why not just chill with the... Why not just chill with the shopkeep guy? Because then a video game wouldn't be happening. Fair. Uh, would make for one hell of a movie, though. We've got Imagine one half is, like, Commando. The other half is... My dinner with Andre? Yes. I don't care how quickly this globe is warming. I, I prefer the comfort. Fireproof? It fogged through fire. fire. Oh. One second. Uno momento. Un momento, por favor.
He didn't know the answer. Shoot him. I'm good. Thanks. Welcome back to the exciting game show, Stabbed in the Butt. If you don't know the answer, you get stabbed in the butt. What is the atomic weight of tungsten? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we got a runner. Quick step. Did you see the Mortal Kombat 1 DLC? Uh, with the... the um, Homelander and Omni-Man are in the Mortal Kombat universe. Yeah. Uh, so, I think it's Kodokan, Homelander, Omni-Man, and... Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, wasn't there going to be a um, young guy? Uh, John Cena? Homelander. Oh, yeah. Or, no, wait. Not. Uh, Peacekeeper. Yeah, Peace Peacekeeper. That guy. Peacemaker? Peacekeeper? Uh, Maker. So that's the name of a gun. What was that? I was playing through this one VR game called Journey of the Gods. Mm -hmm. Basically, you're a descendant of this bird-like species. You have a crossbow. You have an automatic crossbow, and a sword, and a shield, mm -hmm. and powers by these magic birds who give you one of their feathers, and you can just do their magic time manipulation, plant, growth, all that fun mm -hmm. Insane, so if you're low on su supplies, I would say crafting is probably a good idea. That's what you said, uh, birds, I was thinking of the, uh, the Chozo. It's kind of like Metroid, not gonna lie. It's, it's a great game. Oh, move the grenade and you can put the resource there. Thing I don't have. My fault. No, with a rifle. That's not a dragonfly. It says dragonfly, but it has a 12 point buck on it. Okay. One, uh, one, one part of the company wanted to try, wanted a dragonfly. The other part of the uh, part wanted to be a deer, so they compromised. <laughs> they what you will, but they do have no, they have impressive throwing arms on these and, bastards. And in, and the perfect invisible wall, so you can get a scope of your surroundings. And unintrusive at that.
Nice shot. Oh. Saw that just a second too late. <laughs> Knew there'd be hell to pay, but it crossed your mind a little too late. Not the bass man of country music. Yeah. But I keep hearing that rap and modern day rap and a couple other things like that at work. Ten hour shifts will make you lose your mind or make you appreciate life. Which if way are you leaning? Oh, come on. It depends on the type of day. How many bear traps to one? Okay. So that works, but... Nice shot. Ooh, dumb, dumb, dumb question for you. Okay. What if, what if Bayonetta mm -hmm. and the Bayonetta series and the Metroid series switched ratings? Metroid Dread would be a lot more survival horror and you would feel a lot more helpless. Mm. Be stuck in the Zero suit. With the with the stun rifle, sure you'd have the power ups like the grapple ability, the high jump, all that. Mm -hmm. But less hiding options from the enemies. E N M I. And uh, me. Oh, that's genius. But I thought it was, I thought it was like a anagram for like something else. Like, you know, each sure letter really. meant a word. Yeah. I think it is, but I don't remember what. I'm not too well read on the lore anymore. One second, uh, you, uh, turn, uh, uh, Metro Farm into an M rated game. Everything the same except, like, uh, the Zero Suit is, a. Uh, Home fitting enough to have like the like when you can see the outline of nipples and Not bad, right? whenever Samus does her like big uh, uh fuck off beam to the enemies she does like a split for no reason. A beam requires serious ventilation, and the best way to ventilate the system is to... They justify it that way. I have to brace for it. That was just... There's one of the, uh, like, Shock booty... Bumps. Like, death bump... Uh, splits. That'd be a weird... No good. Just throw Ashley over. 
Leon doesn't believe in fastball and your your friends. <laughs> the fastball special works though. Yeah. Ooh, you can do a red, a green, and yellow. Nice. Huh, so that's how they that's how they recommend you organize it. Yep. Lame. Well, more... It would make a pretty substantial doom pile in my opinion. Did I... Did I tell you about the what a doom pile is? Uh, I don't think so. Didn't organize, only moved. Uh. So like when I do, so like when I do laundry, laundry and forget to put it away. Mm -hmm. I'll put the clean clothes that I've yet to put away. Fold them with the, after I because the clothes I pulled out of the dryer I fold and bring upstairs so right the here. clothes I've yet to what? put away uh, okay do it actually we're in a rural town they don't accept others you gotta get back into the closet. When you were explaining uh, Doom Pile, my, my thought was I moved the laundry from the laundry table to the laundry chair. That That's the concept exactly. I don't mind me, I'm just going to uh, Make sure everything's uh, all loaded up for no particular reason. Do, 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 do. Wait, why do I hear boss music? How did the thing song? Pochita, Pochita, Pochita Corazon. Quierte, Quierte, Quierte Ozazon. Sorry, didn't realize it was yours. It's time for the chainsaw hacks. I just went Spanish singer chainsaw man crossover. Can't believe that worked. Shoulder throw. The Dan Habiki special. Where's the car? That was not easy. You dead yet? Checkpoint crank. Ah, well, that's one. Chainsaw hack instead. Oh. 
But what would a rate a rated E bayonetta look like? Oh, we know that. It's called Teresa and and the Lost Demon. Is that that's rated? rated E, right? Uh, I mean, you could check myself for it. I think the most not rated E thing is the sassiness of the de demon teddy bear. Uh, Chester. And not like a carrot and knife. Oh, if Soraya had a knife to assist in combat, would it be called the Vorpal Blade? The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen. If, if you're not on it, you're taking up too much space. Theresa is a lot steaming, but Theresa has a gun. I was just, I'd be content with my... Or just a magic sword. When I run D&D, &D, I mm -hmm. have a magic item. It's called the Broken Sword of Ward Warning. Mm -hmm. You wake up and it'll say, Something bad will happen today. Mm -hmm. Sword, what, what'll happen? It'll stay quiet, and then, and then you stub your toe. I warned you. Sounds like a punk. Uh, you find yourself surrounded after failing a stealth check. I warned you. Yeah. Ashley, when did you get out there? Honestly, that's one of the few reasons, few things I like about that, that one show, Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. Paparachas are literally orange sapphires. Okay. And there's a character named Pop. Sapphires have this ability called future vision. Mm -hmm. They can see into the future, but instead, Paparacha can see into the present. Yeah. Like. They, someone shooting at them, they missed, they missed us on purpose. Wait, why would they do that? And then they get the answer to why immediately after. Hmm. I was annoyed with a Papa Roaches, I call it the Papa Roaches. <laughs> Somewhere around here is a first aid spot. I think the table behind you. Now it's downstairs. Ah. Probably is that little thing. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Apparently, Michael Kovac got dropped from either dropped or left has been hotel mm -hmm. to work on the amazing digital circus. Yeah. Why would you? Or go Angel Dust to be Jax. I understand you have he has a role in the game Billy Bust Up and what have you, but mm -hmm. 
and a voice actor of his caliber run himself too thin? I mean, probably, but... Yeah. Maybe he probably just... Maybe he just likes, uh... Yeah. The crank, I believe. Yeah. Maybe he just likes, uh... Working on NG projects more. No, I'm, I'm okay. I guess. You did well back there. Seems this isn't your first time running from creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. <laughs> what? Did you forget Imagine having that as a feature while there's no enemies around. Well, there won't be no enemies around for long. All the all the uh, parts where you would catch her and have the opportunity to peek up her skirt have been replaced by her uh, dropping down or... and making a grunt a uh, grunting noise like they know what they did though. So. Well, you can always. Repurpose effort sounds for certain things. All right, come on. Okay. Can I keep this, or are you gonna want that back? You can keep it, bro. I just want to wake a little bit. Apparently, they gave him the hat so he looks more like Mr. X. Mission piled. We'll get him next time. Which is right now. Plus two to plot armor. I am... Yeah. So I was talking to one of my co-workers at my job. He oh. said he wanted to pick up a printer as well. Mm -hmm. Good on him. Whoever you kids, you want to keep Ashley tight. <laughs> Where's the demand for tight? Okay. Do you think they call it Resident Evil Village because of this mission? Uh -huh. Leave from the villagers. Oh. When I was playing Village, I was just like, oh, yeah, RE4 Remake is like two years away. And it was. Come, child. Ashley, run! Hurry! Ashley, you have to keep tight. 
Don't worry, Leon. I've been doing my Kegel exercises. I would say switch to the knife. If one of them gets too close, then... Somebody gets too tight. One. Yep. Shit, my body armor. Oh, man. Uh, oh no. This way. Uh-oh. Him or Mr. X? In what context? Fight to the death. I think Mr. X, because even though he came around first, what about you? I'll do my job. Imagine if uh, making a three-way battle with him and uh, Nemesis from the. Oh, original game. that would kick ass. Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? I bet you're topping up your Good body you, armor, stranger. aren't you? Good is new. Mm -hmm. So, what's the max level on these weapons? Knife needs care every once in a while. Could be the difference between. Will that come back any time? Why do I have books? welcome? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Oh, are you doing the Sell off some stuff. You found those bolts, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, you know, probably just whenever I was grabbing all the stuff. Yep. Stranger, Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for. Welcome. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Well, well, I can certainly do something with this. Anything else I can help you with? If you try that on for some. Oh, cool. Level five is the max level. Yep. Yeah, these little empty pips. Knife needs care every once in a while. Could be the difference between life and death. Dazzled, are you? Come back any time. Make sure I keep a uh, eighty thousand just so I can. Get that rocket launcher. Yeah. There. Uh, so you have, so your knife is just like the unlimited knife at this point, right? Uh. I forget.
pretty sure the knife I have right now is the one you get later on from the crowd. Now he was talking about guns, that would be a different story. healing up the Unfortunately, I still think like a human. A knife in each hand distracts the destroyer. You broke my kitchen knives. There's somebody out here who felt like he's like playing a knife only one group. He's turned a uh, saddler into a pin cushion. That that would be There's the mod. Uh uh knifey the knife as your combat knife. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, thank you for freeing me. I'm knifey by the way. I'm a talking knight, I know, pretty random, but... Uh. Ooh. He's got no legs to stand on at this point. Hold on. <laughs> Great Doc Ock impression. Now let's see if you can back it up. Well, I almost evaded both. Ah, uh, Ow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's aiming text. Ow. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, that was... So his arms are bolt action or beam action? Uh, beam. Hey, uh, what we are pieces of wood. Thank you. Nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he kind of looks like a Legend of Zelda enemy, though. Big glowing eye. Yeah. For video game enemies. Thank you. Running out of options, huh? 
the more to your games. You figured out the. You figured it out, huh? Maybe. Just fully expecting me to just get hit by the next uh, one he threw. Property damage. What's that you're surrounded? Quick! This place is coming down! In my head, I see you all over me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Don't want all these resources to go to waste. You're good. Hey! Come on! It's dangerous! I'm coming, I'm coming. It's coming. dangerous to go alone. Take this! Second. Like if, we, if I put uh, Ashley in her things, one for uh, all outfits. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the scene, kid. This fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not going to turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. So I heard of a pretty interesting anime the other day. Okay. It's called Wild Fangs. Basically, a bunch of sociopaths and psychopaths mm -hmm. are have their DNA spliced with animals, mm -hmm. and the biggest claws win because rich people bet on the fights. Mm -hmm. It's called Wild Things or Wild Claws. I don't freaking remember at this point, but what's going on? You're now locked in here with me. Well, I am the great wizard Necromancini. You will become my legion of the undead. Maybe even generals, if you just submit. I'm not here right now, so if you said fuck off, go to the left. If, you, if you're willing to submit, go to the right. Uh, I think it's time, Cole. Thank you for watching another wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. I've been Pixel Cheesecake, and at the helm has been... Shala. We shall see you next time. On whatever we record to choose next. Yeah. I mean, choose to record. Yeah, same.